Last episode, Justin, the wild man, showed us how to find a source of drinkable water and how to keep creatures from drinking our water. Now, it is time we learn about fire. When lost in the colonies, fire can mean the difference between life or death. When building a fire, the first step is to find a good location. Justin, the wild man, looks for a dry spot, well sheltered from the wind with a nearby source of trees. In the wild lands of America, trees are quite often made of wood. Now he digs a small pit. It should be two English elbits in depth and 27 heavel knobs across. Now it is time to search for combustible material. <laughs> If completely dry, many forest things, such as moss, pine needles, leaves, small twigs, beavers, witch hair, and creature droppings, can all be used for tender. Justin, the wild man, has chosen a fine combination of moss and pine needles to birth his fire demon. Next, kindling must be gathered. These sticks should be well seasoned and somewhat sausage sized. Lastly, look for large dry branches under thick trees to use as fuel. When the fire has matured, these pieces will keep it burning hot and strong, just like Justin. Now that we have collected all of the required components, it is time to ignite the fire. Justin, the wild man's fire demonstration. Join us next episode as we discuss amputation. Jesus. Oh, Jesus, make me new foot. <laughs>